Hey guys, it's Slave Ants, and today we're going to go over the best setup for Google Chrome. This is going to stop you from getting pop-ups, it's going to keep you more secure. It's just an overall good setup for Google Chrome. So let's get right to it. So if you haven't installed Google Chrome yet, that's what we're going to do. Microsoft Edge is the default for Windows. So we're just going to go in here and type in Google Chrome. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the first link here, the Google Chrome download. We're gonna hit download Chrome. You can save or run this. I'm just gonna run it because you don't need the file after you've downloaded. All right, we've got a pop-up here just asking for our approval. So once this is going, you can close Edge or Internet Explorer, whichever one was on there, and let it finish running the installer. Okay, so now you have Google Chrome. You may not be able to tell a huge difference yet, but if you minimize, you'll see the icon here. Next thing we're going to do is go down to the Start button here. Or the, uh, you can also hit the Windows key on your keyboard. And then we're going to click this little wheel here to go to Settings. And then we're going to click apps and then we're going to default apps mm -hmm. now we're going to change the web browser from microsoft edge to google chrome so what this is going to do when you open a link it's going to open up with google chrome instead of edge we can just go ahead and delete this link to edge. It doesn't delete the program, just removes it. And then we'll unpin it from our taskbar. You right click on the items here to unpin and then click unpin from taskbar. All right, good. So now that we've got Chrome installed, let's get into the setup. All right, so the first thing we do when we open is we're going to go to the little bar here, the three dots. We're gonna click that and we're going to settings. All right, now let's scroll down to site settings. We're gonna to go to cookies and site data. This one's personal preference here. Clear cookies and site data when you quit Chrome. This isn't going to remember your information when you close Chrome, it's gonna get rid of it. If you want that, that's up to you, but uh, we're looking for security, so I think that's a, a good way to go. So block third-party cookies. When on, sites can't use your browsing activity across sites to personalize ads, sites may, some sites may not work properly. Okay, you're going to turn this on, but you don't want this. You don't want people sending you ads. You know, you look something up. Next thing you know, you're on Facebook, and then there's an ad for whatever you were just looking at. That's This is something that allows that, so we don't want that. All right, now we're going to go click the arrow back here. We want this to leave it how it is. Location is going to ask us. Camera, it'll ask. Microphone, it'll ask. Notifications. So what I'll do is show you real quick, and this is one of the main ways people have issues with using their browsers, is they click the allow. The allow. I'm just gonna, I think CNET, maybe people do it. Yeah, okay. So see, I went to CNET, it's gonna say show notifications. If you do that, it's going to have pop-ups for advertisements in the bottom right of your screen when you have your browser up, even when you don't have your browser up. So you don't want this. So instead of having to click block every time you go to a site, because lots of sites are going to ask for this, we're going to go to notifications and we're going to turn that off. We don't, we don't want that on. So you won't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, so now we're going to pop-ups. You can see that they're blocked. So it's kind of confusing if you click this. That allows it, so it already has them blocked by default. All right, let's go to ads. Same thing here. You want to leave this how it is. You don't need to change anything there. Um, so, all right, so this is good for this section. And we're going to go back to the main page here. And if we go to themes, we can install a dark mode here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And let's just go back for a second. You don't have to do the dark mode. There's different ones. There's all kinds of cool ones here. I'm just going to do the dark mode one because most people are into the dark mode applications now. All right, so see now that this is no longer. So if I undo this, it's that grayish color here, and then I add it, it changes it. So next time we open a Chrome tab here, 
it's black instead of white and it's just easier on the eyes okay so now that we're in the chrome store let's go to extensions and this is going to be the best thing that you can do is add these few extensions this is going to make your browsing experience better overall first one we're going to do is do https everywhere it makes websites use the secure option if possible so we're going to add this extension by clicking add and so this pop-up here from Chrome, it's saying to sync. If you want to sign in with a Gmail account, you can do that. And you can have these add-ons on multiple computers just by logging in. So you don't have to set this up again. All right, the next thing we're looking for is Privacy Badger. Let's just type Privacy. So it's gonna be the first one. Let's click on it, see if it gives a, a simple overview. Automatically learns to block invisible trackers. So we're going to add this. This is something you're not going to have to worry about. It's just going to run in the background. If you want to learn more about the Privacy Badger, you can click this Take Tour option here. That's up to you. Just know that it's protecting you from trackers. We're going to go back to the Chrome store here. And if you happen to get lost, you can just search for Chrome extensions and it'll take you to the Chrome store. So I'm going to click extensions again and we're going to get a couple more. The next one's going to be uBlock Origin. We're going to click Add to Chrome. Just take a look at this. What this does is that this is a pop-up blocker, ad blocker. It's, uh, it's really good. It's going to be one of the biggest things you notice. You may notice sometimes when you go to download a software that there will be multiple links for the download and only one of them's the actual real download. And this will get rid of all those and it'll just make your overall view and experience of websites better. This is by far the best one you can add. If you don't add anything else, add this one. We're going to go back up and go to extensions again. This next one is optional. This is called pixel block. And this is if you're using a Gmail account. So what this does is it'll tell you if people are tracking you through these emails. Like I said, this is only for Gmail. I do use a Gmail account, so I will add this. And if you want to sync your data across computers, like it says here, you'll need to use a Gmail account. So I'm just gonna, since we've got all our extensions, I'm gonna go ahead and click this turn on sync and show you. You sign into Chrome here with your account, your Google account. And then next time you go to a different computer or get a new computer, you can go up to here and then click settings. And then we can go to sync Google services. You can turn on sync and it'll take you there. So if I do turn on sync, it'll take us to that same login. So I'm just gonna go back to here and these are the options you will have if you want to sync that since we're back in the settings there is one more option I want to go over and that's under the privacy and security you're gonna go to passwords I don't recommend save uh, saving passwords into Chrome using something like LastPass is a lot better option and if you wanted to do that you could go into this Chrome store and add LastPass you can add that password manager. And they kind of do the same thing. I tend to think that LastPass is a little more secure because if someone, it's a different password. If someone has the password to your computer, if you're not logged into a Google account, they can get these passwords, these saved passwords. And you don't want that to happen. But this, this one's up to you. I don't recommend saving payment methods. I don't recommend saving anything into Chrome. And then the last one, I like to have this set up and this is continue where you left off. So say we're in the middle of doing something and we've got multiple Chrome pages up here. Let's say I close this and then I close this, but I didn't want to close that. So next time I open Chrome, it's going to pull up the browse, the pages that I had up before. And that's only going to work on the last one you close. So say if I close these two, and then I hit Chrome again. It's gonna pull up that one page. And I really like that, it's been useful for me. Try it out, see if you like it. If not, the settings, scroll down to the bottom, continue where you left off, and then we can change, open new tab page, which is the default. Okay, so the last thing we'll do is go to advanced, and then we'll go to system. And then this has the use hardware acceleration when available. 
This tends to be buggy at times. You can turn this off. And then the other one is continue running background apps when you're when Google Chrome is closed. If you're having performance issues with your computer, you can turn this one off. If you're wanting the least things possible running, then turn it off. And that's it. We're done with setting up Chrome. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. If you'd like to see more content like this, leave a comment below and thank you for watching.